as a peasant girl. Why, why did you show her that particular life? That's her safety. That's her safety. And could you elaborate? Family and love. And nurturing. So that's a good foundation where she had a good life with loving parents. She's very human. Very human. And the reason, um, can you elaborate even more on that particular life for her? The reason I showed her the injuries so she knows that she has all the skills that she needs to have to get through. She's very smart. Very good. And then after that life, you took her to what was the purpose? What you said, what was the purpose of that life again? To show her that there's love. To show her that there's love. Yes, okay. Very good. Now, what about the life in France? That's the one I was speaking of. Oh, very good. To show her that she could be loved. Why did, what, what was the purpose behind the assault? And then there's the other song that still comes. You can't have light without the dark. And even though there is love, there's always a chance for her. And that's okay. Understood. Then you moved her to the 40s. What was the purpose and why was she able to see that life? Connection. She loved to be connected to other people. But she needs to really learn how to connect with herself because sometimes she's too open to people who are not very good people. Or don't have a really good judgment. Because she sees with a lot of love. But she also needs to learn how to see better care. And how can you help her to be able to discern that with that darkness in others that may not have her best interest at hand? Help her be her loving self for the rest of the day. So the more love she's projecting, they can't handle that, yeah. all that love. No. It's threatening and they leave. Because she's also very stern. And we don't respect something they like. And she needs to stop being afraid of the living. Or to be alone. Because the right people will be there. What about the gentleman that she's with right now? Is he... Good for her? Yes. Is she safe with him? Yes. Very good. She loves him. She just needs to learn how to live with her. She's always had a thing about running from people uh, when she's meeting uh, people who she loves. Are these tied to the things that have happened to her in her past expressions? Yes. And can you go ahead and elaborate very well for her so she can really understand how to discern and separate what's happened in another expression compared to this particular life? Please. Can you rephrase that? How can you communicate to her the best way to, I don't know, I won't say that dead dog's life, but how those past lives have influenced her in this life. How can she discern that it was then, this is now, and make a separation to help her? How? But right now she's going through this so she can separate the past hurts and just enjoy. So 
has she found real love now? And when you say going through this, say this process, this QHHT with ink. Has this been beneficial? She's known like the entire time that she's been afraid of. Very good. But this helps bring it to the surface then, is that correct? She can't think. She cannot hide that is so true. What is the best way for her to connect with her higher self and her purpose in this life? She needs to meditate. She needs to sit in the room. Just breathe with a candle. Talk to her higher self. And anybody that she needs, she can't be afraid to lose. She has to know that she's good enough and she's deserving. The past didn't meet her. Excellent. She's here for a very good reason. She's here for to love. Excellent. She needs to show that love to her. Very good. Very, very good. Is there any blockages in general? that she has that you can bring to her awareness, to the forefront of her awareness, blockages that she's not familiar with. She has a blockage in her thinking. How is she thinking that's blocking things? It's on the right side. Right there. Is that a physical blockage or is it a mental or emotional blockage? She feels it physically. We're going to have you scan her entire body with light and really work on everything that she needs to heal. And while you're doing that, we're going to continue to ask all of her questions. Can you start our healing process now, please? Take a long, slow, deep breath in her body so she can feel the love, the healing love coursing through her body. And I'll ask the question she had. Well, she had a desire to know who and what she was in her past life, and you've answered that in three expressions of herself, and she's very grateful for that. And a lot of the questions that she had about herself, you literally just answered, and she's really happy about that. She wants to know, is she on the right path right now? Yes. On the right path with her career? Yes, but she can go further. And what's the best way for her to go further? Any advice that you can give her, you know her the best? She also needs to. She has two aspects of herself, and that's very logical. And it's very creative, and she needs to feed a little bit more off the creativity. I know in the past, uh, in the past expression of herself, she loved to paint, yes. and she loved to dance as well. Are those things still within her? Yes, she needs to connect with her happiness. Connecting with her happies, dancing, drawing, painting. Does she know that she can laugh and be creative and connect to you. Excellent. So she, she needs to make a conservative e effort to do those things. Excellent. Excellent. What is important for her to know about this life? She wants, she's trying to find, she needs, she has a desire to be better than she ever was, <laughs> a, a newer version of herself. And she's in her partnership, so whatever relationship she's in, she has to not be afraid to just be herself. And the more that she radiates herself, the more that the people that are there for her are meant to be there will be there. And she will never have to worry. Excellent. 
Thank you. She's very kind. She's a very kind person. Very kind. Very kind. Excellent. I know I, I, I sense that. Um, she'd like to know what does her essence look like? Could you show her in her mind's eye how beautiful she really is? What a radiant, beautiful light she is. Are you showing her? And her body is pretty bright. Oh, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Nice and loud and clear, please. I'm filling her body with the green light. It's very connecting with the heart and the blood. She can feel like she can speak. Excellent. Excellent. Are you uh, spinning her chakras or tuning her chakra system? Yes. Very good. Very good. What is the best way to make her vulnerable or her vulnerabilities her strength? To love through them. Excellent. Everything that she sends love to, if it's not meant for her, I believe. And that's all. Anything that's not meant will truly fall away yes. as she connects more with herself. Tell her that not hold on too tightly to anything. And not hold on to things too tightly. She she was holding on to those things so tightly is maybe because of some of the things that have happened to her in her past expressions. Like in, when her husband was murdered. Was he murdered? Yes. And she's wondering, is there anything that she should know that she doesn't know? Something that, you know, like I said, she's trying to create herself anew. And anything that she could relinquish that won't go against her plan. She's already safe. She's already where she needs to be. And the information that I gave her before we began this session, was that good information? Yes, she knew a lot of it, but she just needed to reconnect. Very good. Very good. And how did she find me? Were we... How did she find me? Snow Spirit was connected to yours. And has been connected before. Yes. I love her that too. I love that you called her Snow. Very good. She's... Loud and clear. She's a lot lighter in this bed. Snow is a lot lighter. And her spiritual self. How oh, very good. Snow is connected with the fairy folk. Mm -hmm. Is and and uh, is Annette connected with the fairy folk at all as well? Mm -hmm. She is. I know as soon as I saw her, that was one of the first things that I thought. Could you show her the aspect of her fairy heritage, please? I think she'd appreciate that. She's so small and tiny. Beautiful. Does so she have wings? She's so connected with the earth and trees. The 
Charles. Jules. Oh, Jules. She really loves them. And the earth. And the properties. She connected with, uh, well, does she, does she have any family? Uh, like a small part of her family, or are they friends in that realm, the fairy realm? Everybody she knows. Everyone she knows. And she's close. Oh, very good. She knows a lot. And I guess she was so drawn to the Victorian age because she lived in the Victorian age, huh? Yes. And very nicely, I might add. Although it was tragic in the end, how old did she live to be in that particular age in the Victorian era? Late fifties. And she always had the wealth. That, that were they ever able to take away her property? No. Oh, very good. I think that's good for her to know. What you, you maybe yes. Yes. Yeah, it's good. Her. Um, she was afraid she couldn't do it alone. But she had a support system that came in and helped. Yes. Very good. Was there anyone in that life that she knows in this life? Her husband. And who was he in this life? I see a big smile. You don't want to tell her. I think it'll she'll marry. She'll marry him. She's going to marry him in this lifetime, isn't she? Yes. And then they'll be able to have their happy, after, happy, happy, happily ever after. When she learns how to love, she will learn how to fully support. Oh, very good. Is she with them now? I can't tell her. Very good. That's okay. Very good, and it's totally understood. I won't press She needs to let go of the fear first. She needs to let go of the fear first. Uncertainty is not good for her right now. Uncertainty is not good for anyone right now. No, certainty is not oh. good for her right now. Oh, certainty, okay. Very she, she needs to struggle a little bit to find that love and see where it's at. And once she finds that, she will have her answers. Excellent, very good. I'm so happy that you corrected me. Um, I, I, I didn't hear that. Um, Thank you. You're very welcome. She says, at one point she was skiing and she saw this man. And as she was coming down, uh, he was staring at her. And then she's seen him off and on over the years. Who was that figure? Who was that man that keeps that she keeps running into or having that feeling that she is it, uh, is it one of her guardians? It's her old husband's brother. Ah, uh, the one that helped her in the Victorian age? Yes, he was also one of her helpers. In another in another life. Another life that we didn't explore? It was um, the life. I don't remember. That's okay. Take a long, slow, deep breath. So she has guardians and guides, of course, like everyone else. Could she meet uh, uh, some of her guardians or guides so when she meditates, she can uh, connect with them? Finish scanning her body then? Mm. Very good. Is there anything that you need to tell her that um, she needs to be aware of? She needs to eat better. She needs to eat better. When you say eat better, do you mean nutritionally? She needs more vegetables. More vegetables. And is she drinking enough water as well? She can do it better. More water, more vegetables. And would it be a good idea for her to send loving energy into everything that she eats as well? Absolutely. Very good. 
And before we bring her on, is there any other advice that you'd like to share with her right now? Maybe something I may have missed that you know she has a desire to know and that she can know without messing up her life plan. Could you share? I'm here for love and to really truly know what love was. Whether it was something at the start, whether it was something that was late, <laughs> whatever she does, whatever path she goes, if she doesn't with them, she'll be okay. So love is the answer to all things. Start trying to figure out what it is and feel it. Just feel it. And share it and express it. When you feel the heart, send out love. Oh, perfect. Perfect, perfect. She just remembered, needs to remember. And she's also connected with that, and she deserves it herself. Say that one last time as loud and clear as possible, so I want to hear her hear that. She just needs to remember. And whether she has had a radiate like that, she is well. And she also needs to send it to herself. It's most important that she love herself and send herself love. If she doesn't have enough, she will get too much and she will hold it with it. And I think that's why she feels so hurt sometimes. Because she gave it away. And she forgot to save some first. And when she needs to replenish her stores of love, where does she focus? She goes into those need that she needs to give to herself first. And then whatever she has left. She has a lot. There's nothing to worry about. Because I, all things are are, are love. Exactly. Very good. I just wanted to make sure that was clear. Very. Yeah. It's the way that she needs to visualize it. Excellent. And so I remember you did tell her meditating and going to being silent were very important. Now. Sitting in a room, lighting a candle. Lighting a candle. And just deep breath. And long, slow, deep breaths. Excellent. Well, we're very, very thankful. I'm very to speak to her higher self, to speak to her subconscious. And um, now I'm asking the subconscious to receive to where it belongs. With much love and thanks for the help and information that has been given in that today. Now, all.